So here we are, Android 13 Developer Preview 4. I'm gonna cover some of the visual changes and some of the things that I notice uh, in just like the day-to-day -day usage of it. If you want a deep dive, Esper.io did a great thing detailing a lot of the backend and developer-related changes that you're gonna have in Android 13. One of the first major changes that we have with Android 13 is per app language settings for those of you that are either bilingual or live in a different country. Now, as many of you know, I live in Vietnam and I speak Vietnamese at a very high level. And I changed my clock app to Vietnamese so you guys could see what some of this multilingual or per app language settings would be. This is my clock app in Vietnamese. One of the next changes that was detailed is the new one-handed mode, or I guess some changes to the one-handed mode. I've never really used it, but if you swipe from the bottom uh, kind of control bar, you have the one-handed mode, very similar to what we have on iOS. For those of you that have small hands or a big phone, this might become incredibly useful. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna personally use it, but it was an update that is worth noting. Another visual change that you guys might care about is now in the pull down section for home. It will call this device control or in my case home. And there's been a little bit of a redesign to the logo, logo for Google Home. And I have found the home kind of interface for things to be a little bit more uh, speedy and fluid. Here, I will go ahead. If you guys see this logo on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, they changed it to a more design, uh, material you design icon, and I kind of like that. Another visual tweak that you guys are gonna notice in this is for the media playback and control. Now let's go ahead and play this and mute it. And so here you can go ahead and see the different media that you have. And if you look, you will see the media playback um, for some apps that are compatible, you're gonna see this little squiggly line as opposed to just the flat line that we had before. Uh, shout out to anyone that likes Run the Jewels and Killer Mike. I find his music particularly enjoyable. Also now when you're listening to music on the home screen, you're gonna see this bigger um, pop up for the controls. You can go ahead and change the audio out or the media destination. And that will be up here and we have a new menu for that. So depending upon what you're listening to, I think that this menu is nice and makes it larger and these larger touch points are just a little bit more intuitive. Now, another tweak that is really cool has been some changes to the clipboard. And let's go ahead and show you guys what this looks like right now, because this is something that you're going to see quite a bit. And by the way, if you guys wanna support my channel, you can go ahead and become a channel member and it's like a dollar a month or a little bit less. And I upload all of these videos on monetized. But just to show you guys what I'm talking about, let's go in and let's copy some of this text. Uh, copy. Here we go. When you copy text, copy, you now have the same kind of pop-up menu as you did before when you take a screenshot. So now you're able to see what's on your clipboard in a larger format. And that's really nice in case you have to copy and paste multiple things from multiple places. Being able to edit what you have just copied can really save you a lot of time. Another slight tweak that you guys might care about is a new animation for the swipe home gesture. Before it was a little bit more ambiguous whether or not you were going to be going home or what was going to happen. But now when you are swiping home, you see a snapshot of your home screen as the icon kind of zooms in. Holding it gives you a much more uh, kind of tactile because of the new... A new change that you guys might care about is some new animations in regards to uh, the home gesture and just the gesture navigations in general. Now, when you swipe up, you see a preview of the home screen as you're doing it. So you get a better understanding that your swipe is actually taking you home. Obviously, long pressing is gonna go ahead and bring up your carousel of apps, and we don't really have much changes in the way of this. Although I would tell you that the animation smoothness and the overall animation fluidity has greatly increased. And it's something that I personally enjoy, even though I normally have my screen at 60 Hertz. A new feature that I actually kind of like in this whole navigation gesture kind of settings and tweaks is the fact that now when you use the search for your apps, you're also searching the web and it's more of a universal search. 
I think this makes a lot of sense simply because we have the search bar at the bottom and now we also are gonna have the search bar at the top and they're gonna function exactly the same way. Overall, Android 13 really feels a lot more like Android 12.5 L. It's unifying some of the features we have in Android 12 L with some new refinements from Android 12, and it's giving us a much less buggy, much smoother overall user interface. I would say that most of the bugs that I had in Android 12, whether they be small bugs or things like uh, the multitasking not working or the quick pull downs not working, most of those bugs have actually disappeared. And I've actually found Android 13 to be extremely stable. Some of the only bugs that I've actually had in general have been in Instagram. When I'm looking at Instagram stories and then all of a sudden uh, it just force closes the app. That could be an Instagram compatibility thing because obviously the device is now on Android 13 and Instagram might not be updated for Android 13 yet. But as always, if you guys wanna see more content about the Google Pixel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and let me know what questions you guys have in the comment section down below. If you wanna watch these videos without advertising, go ahead, become a channel member. It's about a dollar a month. It's a really cheap way to go ahead and support the channel. And as always, hit me up on Twitter if you guys have questions or you just wanna have a chit chat back and forth. I love being able to connect and talk to you guys on Twitter about this tech stuff. And it's really a great place to connect. Until next time, guys, it's been Mitchell, Android 13. Peace.